I'm here with Robin Raskin of Living in Digital Times, and she's involved with these two new conference sessions and exhibits at CES called Kids at Play and the, and the Silver Summit, uh, proving that CES is not uh, ageist uh, at all, focusing oh. on electronics for both the very young and the very senior. Tell right. us about these two events. So they're two very different audiences, but they need products built for them, and they need solutions to problems that they have that nobody else has, and it gives people a new reason to talk about CES, to go to CES, to be at CES. So the kids is games, it's internet safety, it's digital cameras for kids, it's kids as creators, it's what they're doing in school, home, and ready to go to college. I call it from storybook to Facebook. And then the seniors is the technology, the Silver Summit, will help people enjoy the riches of life longer, whether it's entertainment, communication, staying in touch with their family, telemedicine, brain fitness, um, exercise, spirituality. It's all the things that an older adult might like. HP will be showing their senior PC. Microsoft will be talking about privacy issues with their health ball. So it's a very... If you spend a day with us, you will understand the issues of that population. Now, we know as parents, getting kids excited about technology is easy. You know, anything new you put in front of them, they'll go nuts about. But getting seniors excited about technology, that can be a bigger challenge. You know, how do you think, uh, what are some good ways to, to, to get seniors to adopt technologies that you know are going to make their lives easier? Well, it's a market that everybody wants to attract, and there's, it's a market that has money, and it's a market that has a need. So it's a, our job as an industry to make this a lot easier for older people to, to master. That comes with service, that comes with installation, uh, that comes with a variety of things to make them feel comfortable. But when it gets right down to it, they know that technology is going to be the thing that lets them what we call age in place, stay at home, in the comfort of their home longer than ever. Now, is this a difficult message to get across to retailers who aren't normally focused on that population? No, it's not a sexy population by any means, but it's the population with money and real need. And the people who ignore it, ignore 78 million Americans, it's like a boomer, you know, 70 boomers every second. It's a huge population. And the products that we're starting to see address it either with simplicity or with um, monitoring your body functions or monitoring your home, taking the right medicines. There, it's audio, visual, making the screen bigger. There are so many ways to take advantage of the technologies we use every day to expand markets. You'd have to be crazy not to do it. Well, sounds like great opportunities. Thanks an awful lot.